we're about to get a, another bucket delivered for a boxer. If I can get some footage, I'll try to get some footage for you. Okay, so FedEx is gonna be delivering that bucket with a semi, it sounds like, with a lift gate. And he would have a hard time, he said, or sounded like, getting into this driveway and he didn't really want to park on this busier road that's in front of our shop. So we're gonna have him meet us down here at this little side road next door and take our boxer down there and pick the bucket up with a, our forks on our boxer. It should be palletized. He has a lift gate, it sounds like. I may have said that already. So, my brother's running the boxer down there right now, meeting. He shouldn't be here for too long. You're gonna be meeting him somewhere over here on the side road past those tall grasses. So, should be fun. The reason we're getting this smaller bucket is because the one we have now is a bigger material handling bucket and it's not real practical for everything that we do. It's hard for visibility with that big bucket in your way to see you when you're trying to dig dirt and stuff like that. So it should work out a lot better for some things.
Well, the delivery seemed to go pretty smoothly. We actually ended up just picking it up with our forks out of the back of the trailer instead of having him use the lift grate. Went pretty quick and smooth. Looks to be a pretty nice one. We'll give you a closer look at, better look when we get it unpackaged from the pilot. So it looks to be a pretty solid, good quality bucket, but we'll see how it fits and how it works. Now we're gonna hook up the bucket and see if it fits good.
Okay, so the brain of this bucket is tightened and it seems to have a little bit of slop in it. We may have to make a modification to it to get it tightened up, but we'll see how it goes as we actually start using it, etc. But overall, it looks like a nice bucket.